kidney functions are monitored and regulated by the hormonal feedback mechanisms of the hypothalamus, juxta glomerular apparatus, or JGA, and heart. Our body has several osmoreceptors that are activated by changes in the volume of body fluids, volume of blood, and ionic concentration. An osmoreceptor is a sensory receptor that detects changes in osmotic pressure. For example, a decrease in the level of body fluids activates the osmoreceptors, which stimulate the hypothalamus, which in turn neurally stimulates the neural hypothesis of the pituitary to release the antidiuretic hormone or ADH or vasopressin. ADH prompts the distal convoluted tubules or DCTs and the collecting ducts to reabsorb more water, thereby preventing diuresis. On the other hand, if the fluid volume in the body increases, the osmoreceptors suppress the release of ADH, leading to increased excretion of water in urine. ADH also has the ability to constrict the blood vessels. This increases blood pressure, thereby increasing the glomerular blood flow in the kidney and consequently the glomerular filtration rate or GFR. Like the hypothalamus, the JGA also plays a vital role in regulating kidney functions. The juxta glomerular cells detect a fall in the glomerular blood pressure or GFR and release a peptide hormone called renin. Renin converts angiotensinogen in the blood into angiotensin 1, which is further converted into angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2, a powerful vasoconstrictor, constricts the blood vessels, thereby increasing blood pressure, which stimulates the cortex of the adrenal gland to secrete aldosterone. Aldosterone increases the reabsorption of sodium and water from the distal parts of the renal tubule, resulting in an increase in blood volume, which increases blood pressure and GFR. This complex mechanism is commonly known as the renin-angiotensin mechanism. Apart from the hypothalamus and JGA, the heart also regulates the functioning of the kidneys to a certain extent. The muscles of the heart release atrial natriuretic factor, or ANF, when the blood pressure in the atria increases. ANF, a peptide hormone, is a vasodilator and also a diuretic that dilates the blood vessels and helps to decrease the blood, sodium and water levels. It exhibits an inhibitory effect on the renin-angiotensin mechanism. Hence, hormonal feedback mechanisms efficiently monitor and control the functioning of the kidneys, leading to the formation of urine, which passes into the urinary bladder, where it is stored until a signal is received by the central nervous system, or CNS. As the urinary bladder gets filled with urine, the bladder is stretched, and causes the stretch receptors on its walls to send a signal to the CNS. The CNS, in turn, sends motor messages that make the smooth bladder muscles contract, and the urethral sphincter relax, resulting in the release of urine. This process of disposing urine is called micturition, and the neural mechanism responsible for the process is known as the micturition reflex.